It's another chilly one out there. Temperatures have already fallen into the low 40s here in Bryan College Station, sitting at 43 degrees. A few upper 30s popping up across the area as well. 39 degrees in Mejia, and those temperatures are only going to continue to fall as we head throughout the overnight hours. So you want to make sure you have that coat tomorrow morning as everybody's going to fall into the upper 30s. I guess the good news is it's going to be about 5 degrees warmer than what we saw this morning, but it's still going to be on the cool side. So you want the coat before you go to work or school. The positive news is you see these winds flipping around to the southeast. This is important because this means those temperatures, yeah, they're going to start increasing out there. We'll climb into the mid 60s by tomorrow afternoon, and then we're going to see 70s return by Saturday. And the next six days really are going to be pretty mild out there. The average high is 62 degrees, so we're going to be above average over the next several days. But that could change. Old man winter trying to make a comeback, and those temperatures looking like they're going to be below average for the second week of February, pretty much from the mid. Mississippi West across the lower 48. So a pretty good chance for some cooler temperatures in the Brazos Valley. So get out, soak up the nice weather over the weekend because it's going to start changing as we head toward the end of next week, following into that second week of February. All the guidance kind of indicating the cooler weather is on the way. We do have a cold front on the way on Saturday, and this is going to create an uptick in the rain chances across the Brazos Valley. Starting Saturday morning with the warm front lifting north across the area, a few spot showers along the I-45 to I-35 corridor, including here in the Brazos Valley. Best chance though going to be across eastern parts of the state, the Piney Woods, especially as you get up toward the Arklatex region. That's where there's the best chance for the showers and storms. That's where the most moisture is. We just kind of have some minimal moisture here in the Brazos Valley, and we'll have another chance for a few spot showers as this cold front works its way toward the east during the afternoon hours. But eventually that'll completely shut down those rain chances as drier air filters in to our area. And taking a look at the future radar, you can see as that cold front starts to work its way in, a thin line of showers across the Brazos Valley, primarily east of I-45, but we'll try to squeeze out just a little bit of moisture, and we definitely need it. We're still dealing with the abnormally dry conditions here, but I don't think this is going to be a drought buster in any means. Most areas are not going to see anything at all, so don't cancel those weekend plans. Guidance saying, hey, most areas are not going to see much. If you do, maybe a tenth of an inch of rain. We'll see who gets it, but again, it's looking like uh, most areas aren't going to see too much rain. Likely just an uptick in the cloud cover and maybe one or two sprinkles reach in the ground. But we'll continue to monitor this. If we can squeeze out just a little more moisture out of the atmosphere than expected, maybe somebody could luck out and pick up two tenths of an inch. But that's not looking likely right now. No rain chances in the forecast on Friday. 65 degrees at high. It's going to be cool in the morning, but we're going to warm up about 30 degrees by the afternoon. Sunny skies out there. Humidity going to start to increase as we head throughout the day. And that humidity, it's going to lead to a spot shower possible on Saturday. Highs climbing into the mid 70s, but a cold front going to move through. So we're going to see those temperatures fall back down on Sunday with a high of 63 degrees. It's going to be a little bit breezy out there late Saturday, so keep that in mind. Some winds possibly gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Secure the lawn furniture as well as the trash cans, because if you don't, they're going to get blown down the road. The wind should start to relax, though, on Sunday. So, Tristan, overall, not too bad of a weekend uh, and a Friday. You know, your weekend eve, everything looking yes. pretty nice. Spot showers on Saturday, but again, most areas are going to be dry, so don't cancel the weekend plans. But you did say it's going to be pretty windy on that Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit windy out there, so you know your hair going to be flying around, trash cans, you know, blowing down the road. So just, uh, you know, that's the only bad news on Saturday is it's going to be a little bit windy. But, hey, we'll take that over it being cold. So, so don't feel bad if you stay inside on Saturday. It's windy and might be a little rainy. Just stay inside if you need to. Yeah, spot showers. You know, if you want to Netflix and chill with your boo, you can do that <laughs> on Saturday with the gusty winds and the spot showers. But I would say get out and enjoy the temperatures in the 70s. All right. That, that, that's true. That's true. I'll, I'll figure it out by then. <laughs> right. Thank you, Christopher. we got more KX coming up.